Hello, everyone. The war in Ukraine continues to be so much more than just about Ukraine. And today's news, I think, illustrate that very well. So let's dive in. Slightly misleading um, headline from The Guardian about conducting raids across Dnieper River. Um, Ukrainian troops are not conducting raids. They have already crossed the river. They are basically creating a foothold on the other bank. Um, so if you are visual, pop up the map of the city of Kherson and see where the river crosses the Kherson region. And you'll see why strategically this is important that they cross from the eastern bank to the western bank. Russia's foreign minister Lavrov said Russia will not forgive U.S. for denying Russian journalists visa. My question is, so what? Um, so they're going to deny Americans visas to visit Russia? Oh, I'm sure that is so devastating. Like, everybody's just dying to visit Russia. Mm -hmm. Considering the current climate and the way... Um, foreign nationals are treated in Russia, I don't think there's a lot of people who are very eager to go there. This article is in Associated Press, and this is kind of the day-in-the-life type of glimpse into the wartime Ukraine. It is a very heady reminder to all who say, well, so what? That this is happening, there's genocide taking place in Ukraine, there are human rights violations, they, there are hideous war crimes. And if this is allowed to continue, if we set the precedent for such things to go unnoticed and unpunished, it has ramifications for the rest of the world. Case in point. Um, so this particular article is from BBC, but there are others discussing... Uh, the role of uh, Russian mercenary group Wagner in the current events in Sudan. At this point, Russia's uh, militant group Wagner has its hand in so many pies. I mean, I sincerely hope the intelligence agencies of the world are working to track down what else they're involved in. But... Um, it appears that they are involved in the destabilization of the situation in Sudan, one of the largest African nations. And uh, the, there is also the support of one of the two militant leaders they are currently struggling for power. It's all connected. Thank you for watching.